Hello and welcome back to another video. So as you can see, I built a PC. As a console gamer, PC gaming has always interested me a lot and this is not the first PC I built. I'll give you guys the history of how this all came together and all the specs and everything. But most importantly, I did want to venture into PC gaming to get a better perspective on all of this. We all know that to get the highest end gaming experience, you're likely going to have to go to PC. Like I said, this is not the first PC I built. And I built this PC back in last spring for a friend who wanted a PC for Fortnite. And just remember that when I do tell you about the parts because those decisions were made on a budget of under $1,000 and at the time the availability of parts. But yeah, I built a few PCs. I wouldn't say I'm an expert by any means on building PCs. It's really fun and I'm always trying to learn more about it, but I do have a little bit of a background given I've built a few. With that said, I would like to get your guys' opinions on this build and how we can upgrade it. And I think we'll make that a series on the channel, just trying to upgrade this and make it even better. It was an interesting story how I got this one because my friend who played Fortnite and everything wanted to play on high refresh rate settings. And because the PS5 has 120 frames per second mode now, that's what he wanted to go back to after this. He thought 120 hertz was just as good as the 144 hertz that he was using previously. And there was a lot more convenience in the PS5. So what I basically did, because I've been able to get PS5s quite easily for my friends, I got a PS5 for him, and we traded. So now let's go over the parts. So for the CPU, we got the Ryzen 5 3600X. At the time, it was on a pretty good sale. It was a very nice CPU because the 5000 series was not out yet. It's six cores, which was good enough for gaming for sure. And although I might want to do some video editing on this machine, and we'll talk about that later, six cores should be powerful enough. And to pair with that CPU, we did a deal at Micro Center where you get $20 off if you pair them. And I got the MSI B450 Tomahawk Max. It doesn't have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, and it has a decent amount of I.O., but it's definitely not the highest end motherboard. I had some issues because I wanted to use an M.2 slot for my storage, but I also wanted to use the SATA drive that we originally did, and because of the bandwidth, you can't use a SATA drive and an M.2 on this particular motherboard, unfortunately. So right now, I currently have a crucial 500 gigabyte SSD and a Samsung 860 Evo one terabyte SSD which is more than enough storage and it is likely fast enough, although I wanted to use M.2. And then the graphics card. So at the time of building, graphics cards were not nearly as hard as they are to get now, but because it was a budget build, we went with the MSI uh, GTX 1660 Super. It's the Ventus XS OC edition, and it does the job for the most part. Like my friend had no problem and I've had not many problems playing on at least Fortnite in high refresh rate, but I do want to get my hand on an RTX 3000 series card, so let me know which one you suggest in the comments. I'm thinking either the 3060 Ti or the 3070. And then for the case, I think it's a pretty standard or common one. It's just the NZXT H510. Um, and I've had no issues with that. I like the white color look and I think what we're gonna be doing is upgrading and making an all white build. I think that could look really nice. But again, I'd love to hear any of your guys' thoughts in the comments. And for the PSU, we got one from PowerSpec. It's 650 watt, it has 80 plus gold, and it's semi-modular. So it really has done a good job. And at that time of buying, power supplies were actually very hard to come by. But now that has changed for the most part, it's a lot easier. With peripherals, we have a Acer and a MSI. Both are 144 hertz monitors. The Acer one has monitor speakers, but both have been pretty good overall. As for the mouse and keyboard, they're nothing special by far. They're not even gaming ones, really. One is from Corsair, the mouse, but the keyboard is one I'd used in the past for content creation. It's a chiclet style from Microsoft. It's the Microsoft Surface keyboard. Now that we have all that out the way, let's talk about the use cases. So of course we're playing games. 
and some of the games I really want to do were emulated games. I'm doing a Pokemon Nuzlocke at the moment, and I might bring that to a second channel, but we'll see. And that's been really fun. I also wanted it for Halo Infinite because what we did was choose either the PS5 or Xbox Series X, and I'll link that video. Halo has always been a game I've really enjoyed, and I'm happy that I can now play it on my PC if I want. In addition, we will venture into other PC games as well. I'm excited to see how this really does compare to the consoles I've mostly played. And then finally, I alluded to this earlier, we might do some video editing on it. I ran some benchmarks and stuff to compare it to my M1 MacBook Pro, and even though this is a desktop grade computer, it doesn't beat it in single core or multi-core performance. And if I did get a 5000 series SoC like the 5800X, it would likely beat my M1. So I really do want a lot of feedback from you guys on this. Let me know what you think of the PC. You will have seen all around it through the B-roll, but I'd like to hear about what comparisons I should do for the channel. We're definitely going to do a PS5 versus my PC one, and we'll go on with the upgrade series as well, hopefully, if I get enough feedback. But I appreciate any of you for watching this. Felt like a little bit of a scattered video, but I just wanted to get it out there for you guys. So thank you so much for watching, and peace.